in this screencast video lecture we will try to understand about the cyanobacteria that is their occurrence their distribution and what are their types and what is the mechanism by which they can able to fix the carbon and finally how they survive there in the environmental conditions cyanobacteria has evolved in the earth around 3.2 to 3.5 billion years ago though they strain as a gram negative bacteria in the grams reaction phylogenetically they are relatives of gram positive group of bacteria and they belong to oxygenic phototrophs that is those organism that help in evolving oxygen there in the earth system thus they have the ability to fix carbon as well as nitrogen as per the endosymbiotic theory of organal evolution the photosynthetic organelle of the eukaryotic organism that is in the plant system the chloroplast has been thought to evolve from a kind of cyanobacteria called prochlorophytes at the same time we all need to remember that the mitochondria that have been associated there with the powerhouse of the cells have been evolved there from a bacteria called rhodobacter thus prochloron prochlorococcus prochlorothrix and acariochloris or cyanobacteria that are commonly referred as a prochlorophytes or green cyanobacteria they differ from the other typical cyanobacteria in that they possess a chlorophyll b as well as chlorophyll a but they generally lacks the phycobilin pigments that is phycocyanin and phycoerythrin that gives a blue green color to the common group of cyanobacteria whereas this group or referred as a green cyanobacteria cyanobacteria inhabits hot springs and stromatolites that is it refers to a layered rock often domed that are formed due to the incorporation of the mineral sediments in the microbial mats this structures are dominated by the cyanobacteria say for example the stromatolites that have been present there in the shark bay of western australia have been dominative there with the various groups of cyanobacteria apart from that certain green non sulfur bacteria such as chlorofluxus was also found to be associated with them they could be present there in the soils of arid zones as a cryptobiotic crust here it is also referred as a biological soil crust the biological soil crust refers to community of living organism that have been present there in the soil surface of the arid and semi arid ecosystem this crust are also called as a cryptobiotic soil crust which are created by the living organisms such as algae cyanobacteria and fungi that is bacteria within the soil releases certain gelatinous material that binds the soil particles together into a dense matrix and it get hardened during the course of time cells are 0.5 to 10 micrometer in diameter and in some cells it can be up to even 40 micrometer in diameter as i already told they belong to gram negatively staining however phylogenetically gram positive group of bacteria they have multi layered cell wall possessing peptidoglycan and as an outer membrane in them they produce extensive mucilaginous envelopes that binds unicellular or filamentous cells together their filaments are commonly referred as a trichomes it refers to rows of bacterial cells that have been in close contact with one another over a large surface area due to the production of this mucilaginous envelope only they have been associated there with the formation of soil crust filamentous cyanobacteria typically exhibit a gliding motility so its meaning both filamentous as well as unicellular forms of cyanobacteria could be existing we will see the classification at the last they are aerobic oxygenic photosynthetic groups of organisms and they are technically referred as a photolithotrophic autotrophs the electron donor for cyanobacteria is mainly water an exception is oscillatoria lemnitica which uses hydrogen sulfide as an electron donor and the final electron acceptor is a oxygen when it is using water as an electron donor the group of cyanobacteria have been referred technically as a oxygenic group of cyanobacteria as at a final process oxygen have been evolved there from the system 
Fresh water cyanobacteria possess amino acids such as glutamate and proline as well as carbohydrates such as sucrose and trehalose as a compatible solutes in order to balance the water activity in their environment. However, marine cyanobacteria possess glucosyl glycerol as a compatible solutes and certain salt lake containing cyanobacteria possess glycine methane as their compatible solute molecule. The primary photoreactive or photosynthetic pigment of the cyanobacteria is chlorophyll A. That is, chlorophyll A helps in absorption of the red light as well as blue light at the 680 and 430 nanometer respectively. And this is a kind of a chlorophyll which is dominative there on the plant system also. However, cyanobacteria doesn't possess a chlorophyll B which is present there in the plant system. There are other kinds of chlorophyll that have been distributed in cyanobacteria includes the chlorophyll D which is mainly come across there in the Acariochloris marina which is a candidatus group of organism. Here candidatus refers to those organisms that have been studied only through 16 rRNA gene sequence and for those organisms pure culture isolates have not been available. Photosynthetic membrane is a system of often more complex than in the cyanobacteria. It is multi-layered than in cyanocystis. The thylakoid membranes are regularly arranged in a concentric circle around the periphery of the cytoplasm. Here, the thylakoid membranes are the one that helps in light harvesting and it also arranged as a series of membrane parallel to that of the plasma membrane in order to intercept the light and fully utilize it. Thus, both the physical process of light harvesting as well as the chemical process of the electron transfer that is through photophosphorylation occurs there on the thylakoid membrane systems that have been available there in the cyanobacteria. These intercellular membranes are studded with small structures called as a phycobilisomes which contain a special protein called as a phycobili protein. These phycobili proteins are commonly present in cyanobacteria and they were also found distributed there in the red algae that is in the chloroplasts of the red algae. If you look at phylogenetically, red algae is the one which is evolutionarily related to that of the cyanobacteria. This phycobili protein serves as an antenna pigments. They are all open chain tetrapyrrole compounds that have been coupled to that of the protein. They have different colors that range from red to blue color. The red pigment of the phycobili protein is phycoerythrin which absorbs light mostly at a wavelength of 550 nanometer. Whereas the blue pigment of the phycobili protein is referred as a phycocyanin that absorbs mostly at a 620 nanometer. There is also a third phycobili protein is present there in cyanobacteria which is referred as a allophycocyanin that absorbs light at a wavelength of 650 nanometer. Due to the presence of these pigments, that is the phycocyanin and phycoerythrin there in the cyanobacteria, it is commonly referred as a blue-green algae. Especially phycocyanin is the one which gives the blue color there to the cyanobacteria. This is the reason why traditionally cyanobacteria are referred as a blue-green algae or blue-green bacteria or blue-green cyanobacteria. As we already have during the process of photosynthesis, cyanobacteria generally uses water as an electron donor and produces oxygen as a byproduct. Though some species, especially the Oscillatoria limnetica uses hydrogen sulfide as an electron donor as it is also used in other anoxygenic photosynthetic bacteria as an electron donor. Here all the organisms are capable of using carbon dioxide as a carbon source and it is getting reduced there into cell carbon that is carbohydrate via the operation of Kelvin cycle. The next point that is water oxidizing photosynthesis that is oxygenic photosynthesis is accomplished by coupling of the activity of the two photosystems that is photosystem 1 as well as 2 by using the Z scheme. And this method of uh, phosphorylation is technically referred as a non-cyclic photophosphorylation. Whereas when the cyanobacteria grows under an anaerobic condition that is instead of water when hydrogen sulfide is used as an electron donor in certain groups of cyanobacteria like 
oscillatoria it is only photosystem one has been involved there in the phosphorylation and the type of phosphorylation is technically referred as a cyclic photophosphorylation which is similar to the one that is occurring in some anoxygenic group of purple photosynthetic bacteria next we will see the differentiated structures of a typical cyanobacteria first one is the gas vesicles they are spindle shaped structures commonly referred as a vesicle sometime these vesicles can cluster together and constitute the formation of gas vacuoles they confers the buoyancy for the cell that is they help in floating of the cell there in the water bodies such as the pond ecosystem next one is a heterocyst it's a differentiated cyanobacterial cell which generally lacks the photosystem too that is the oxygen evolution system thus it cannot be able to fix carbon dioxide to cell carbon that is the particular cell is not involved in the carbon fixation but associated there with the nitrogen fixation the next one is hormogonia they are the filaments of cyanobacteria that break off from the main filament and form into small pieces which mainly helps in the reproduction that is through dispersal of the cyanobacteria to a different locality next one is echinids they are specialized non motile dormant thick walled resting cells that protects in the darkness condition under desiccation and under the cold stress environments and the last one baocytes they are differentiated small spherical motile or non motile endospore like reproductive cells of cyanobacteria which are commonly produced by multiple fission there in the cyanobacteria an example of a baocyte producer is pleurocapsa and finally we look at certain structures that are uniquely present there in the cyanobacterial system cyanofission granules this is a kind of a inclusion body which is visible under the light microscopic observation this structure is a copolymer of aspartic acid and arginine and it can able to make about 10 percentage of the cell mass of cyanobacteria cyanofission is actually a nitrogen based storage product of cyanobacteria so it can be more useful when nitrogen is becoming deficient there in their growing environment under such condition this polymer is hydrolyzed and used as a nitrogen source by cyanobacteria and the last one is carboxysome structures they are non unit membranous structures that have been present in cyanobacteria that are capable of converting carbon dioxide into cell carbon they are polyhedral that is about 100 nanometer in diameter and they exclusively contain the enzyme ribulose 5 bisphosphate carboxylase that is rubisco which is a critical enzyme involved in carbon fixation 